What's happening everyone, J Shockblast here, and check it out. In this video, I am going to show you how to get 100% completion in Five Nights at Freddy's uh, in Funko Fusion. You will have to have already unlocked this level uh, in the third level of, um, what is it, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. So in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, uh, there is a level called Vegans and thank you for following me while i'm making this <laughs> vegans and again so you unlock it here and then once you've unlocked it you do all the stuff i'm about to show you in this video all right so this is one of five of the red chests that you can get i've already unlocked this but now that i've completed the level i'm going to go ahead and show you where they all are make it easier number two is like literally right here there you can kind of see them next to each other that's the final crown this is where you can deposit them uh, you can also find foxo's piece right there uh, there's a third red one right here in the same room Fourth red one is right here. So we got that. And then... And the last red chest that you'll need is literally right in the middle of the room. Right here. I was wrong, it was not in this back room. So I will say, once you use the black light to open this door, there is a ch uh, silver chest right there. And all you'll actually have to do, you can get a uh, child from the thing. He does fire or, I can't believe I forget this is even a thing. Uh, you just basically put that canister there, blow it up, it'll melt the ice. And you've got a silver crown. Or even better, vinyl. Right outside this door, I'm not gonna do it, but there's a silver chest right here. And when you open it, you're gonna have to fight a couple enemies and you'll get a silver crown from that chest as well. Eh, let's just do it. Not that hard. There's a bunch of random enemies from all the different worlds. Make it like difficult, and all right, that was not hard. And even better, I got some vinyl because I need vinyl for the final chest or final crown that I need on this level, uh, which is 60,000 vinyl. Silver chest right here. You need five golden bears for that one, and. We can go ahead and actually find those real quick. I've already done them. Um, so there's one of them in this room right behind the door. So that's one of five. This room, I believe. Yeah, right there. That's two of five. There's one. Not in there. Alright, there's a silver chest right here. Which is actually easy. You don't really have to do anything. Alright, and while you're in the kitchen, you can kind of see you can get the kitchen right here. Number three of five is right there. Uh, it's going to say one of five for me, but uh, that's because I'm coming back afterwards. But trust me, that's one of the ones you need. There it is. There's number four. There's one more. 
All right, and the fifth one is super cheeky. It's actually in the main room where you start. You shoot right behind where your, your pop is, and then right outside the door. Again, I've already completed this, so I'll take all my vinyl. So the first time around, I was halfway right. Um, the fact, I don't know, man, this is, this is kind of crazy. So this is the solution. We did the first amp, okay. We brought it upstairs. You gotta put a second amp right here and then take a massive leap of faith. It's kind of actually crazy that this is the solution. Let's just switch to Scott Pilgrim now. I thought it might be a portal. Okay. Now, here's the part that's kind of annoying. If you look across, right? It doesn't look like you could actually stand on that, but apparently you can. If I had just figured that out last night, or if I had just not gotten stuck in the water, because if you fall in the water, you're supposed to go back up to the top, I would be done with this level. But instead, oh. we've got this hallway here. Brings you all the way back to here. So, oh, obviously, uh, you need to blink back out. So, that starts right here on the stage. And I believe the last crown I need is this one. All right. And uh, one of the last things we need to unlock is the amber for Jurassic World. And it's literally right here. Uh, I've already acquired it. So when you come out of the room, this is the room you start in. You just basically come right out here. And the amber will be right there. And then if we actually run down here, you'll notice that there is a bucket of KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken right there. And that's, that's pretty easy. All right, so this is the final crown that I need right here. This will give me 100% completion for the level. You're just gonna deposit 60,000 vinyl. 
I'm just gonna pop out that crown. So now I have all seven crowns, and once I complete the level, it's going to give me Freddy Fazbear and Foxy, I believe. So I'll show you that right here at the end. I don't think I'm gonna have enough health for this. Wait, what? Is it different every time? Oh my god, did it? God. Can't get hit by him again. I literally was one hit from death because I could not get health in this world. But three out of seven for Chucky. I hate it. There's one other collectible that I kind of just showed you as I unlocked Chucky, uh, but I'm gonna go back and make sure I call it out because it was quick. Uh, right here where you turn in the Chucky thing, right here is the Foxo part. So uh, I've already gotten that, obviously, but I just wanted to point out that you can get it right there. Uh, and that should be everything. And now we are going to exit. Take my last crown. And we have escaped Five Nights at Freddy with 100% completion. All seven crowns, all the ember, all the red chest, and Chucky. We're going to return to the factory. Look at that. A bit quirky at night. All right, so this brings me back into the Masters of the Universe world. 
But what we actually want to do is go to Scott Pilgrim. Because we can now go in here into the Five Night at Five Nights at Freddy's World. And we have Freddy Fazbear. And Foxy the Pirate. So here's Freddy Fazbear. And he shoots out of uh, a pizza oven? Is that what that is? Maybe? Maybe it's shooting records? I don't know. And he also has a mic stand that he will bash your brains with. Alright. Go ahead and stand next to Foxy the pirate. Take a quick screenshot. And then we can switch out to Foxy the pirate. And he, oh my god, does he shoot out of... Shoots out of a bazooka. A bazooka cannon. And obviously he attacks with his splashy hook arm. I know Five Nights at Freddy's is extremely popular. Uh, it's not a game that I've ever played. Not in my wheelhouse. I am I am a, a coward. I don't do horror movies or games. Even though my name is Jason. My middle name is Michael. Like Michael Myers. And I was born on Halloween. Nope. No horror for me. But... There you go, 100% completion. It's actually one of the easier levels to get 100% completion. You just gotta play that Five Nights at Freddy's game, which is a little creepy, but it's pretty easy. But anyway, we'll see ya.